All right, before I get too far into this, this is, I'm in my Kenworth T680. Those are the panels right there that go right there and right there. And this is, what I'm doing here is I'm installing the Keep Trucking app, or not the Keep Trucking app, the Keep Trucking ELD, which plugs into the port on the bottom of the dash. All right, but I don't want all the wires hanging out and looking tacky, so this is how to take apart the dash to get the wires underneath. So step one is you just have to pull off the plastic paneling and they just pop right off, okay? Preferably pull this one off first before this one. That way, because this one right here kind of overlaps the main dash display. So, and they pop right off, no screws or anything. Next, unscrew the ignition board, pull that away, and unplug the harness. Once you have the three screws out, the other one's right there, go ahead and remove the entire panel here. And then unplug the cluster. Then once you have that done, unscrew the instrument cluster and remove that. Okay, I have all the screws out. Now, you just pop this out. And unplug. And unplug right there. So now, what that does is, is by removing this, you have access to the Y, I'm sorry, the computer plug inside the dash. You can reach in there, unscrew it, install your Y, and then you can run the cable up behind the dash. First, once you get the dash off, you're going to unscrew this flange around the computer port to remove it from the lower dash. Let's see if it's loose enough to go by hand yet. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There you go. And now that's free. So it's it's hard to identify. I can I can identify it without pulling it out. I mean, I can identify it because I can reach my hand in there and get it, but it's hard to show it on camera. But what you need to identify what that port is right there, whether it's a green circle or a green square. I have the green circle. So Kenworth for the Keep Checking app, they should have sent you. Let's see, zoom out here. They should have sent you this Y cable, okay? So the reason why you need to identify that plug down there is because that is the same plug on the other end of this Y. So I have the circle one. So this is going to be my new computer plug that actually pokes out the bottom of the dash, okay? This cable, the square one, is going to be what the main cable that you plug into for the ELD that runs up onto the box. This end of the, of the Y is what's going to plug into that cable right there. And this will all be hidden behind the dash. Now, now I'm going a step further and I'm actually removing this panel as well. So I can get behind the dash and I'm going to run the cable all the way through so that it comes out on this side.
and this is my main ELD cable that end right there is going to plug in eventually to that square port and then this end right here plugs into the box so now as you can see here's my wire it's actually running back behind there it is right there right back here behind the instrument panel all the way through and coming out right here is where I have it now and what I'm eventually going to do is, is I'm probably just going to have it I'm going to pull probably this screw off and pull the metal away a little bit and have it squeeze through up here is probably where I'll have it come out at and the box will be mounted on the dash so now what we need to do is is we need to hook up all these wires right here so like I said because this truck uses the circle one and it's very important that you use the right port because if you use the wrong port if you ever go in for maintenance and you have the wrong port plugged in the computer at the shop won't be able to read it and then they'll have to take all this apart to get to the right port so the Kenworth T680 that I'm in has the circle not the square so this cable will plug into the square and this will be my new computer port under the dash because the Y is already plugged into the old computer port down there so now I've got it grabbing it from under the dash I have my new plug port down on the bottom just barely let go so it doesn't pop out all I need to do now is screw this flange back on there all right all right now that that's all screwed back in that took a little bit longer than what I thought it would but that plug is now ready to go now all that's left is to just tighten up all the wires Nothing is really pushing up against anything. Well, I guess that's fine right there. And then plugging everything back in. Now you can go ahead and plug the instrument display back in and screw that back into place. Because pretty much you're done on this side of the truck. You know, now we just need to figure out where that cable is going to come out of over here but you can go ahead and like I said you can screw the instrument panel back or plug the instrument panel back in screw it back in place and you can even put the molding back on because this molding or I'm sorry because this molding right here goes over this one so okay I know this display is working here but let's see if all the rest of the lights come on now all right Looking good. Brighten them up, dim them down. Alright, let's go ahead and screw it in place and then put the molding back on. Alright, and there you go. Molding's back on. Everything's good, nice and tight. All my switches are working. Ignition, everything's good. So, now we just come over here, finish, uh, Figuring out what we're going to do with this end of the wire, how we're going to have it come out from behind the dash, plug in the box, put the molding back on here, and that's it. Hardest part of this whole job is just getting that plug right there. Alright, so what I've essentially done here is I unscrewed this screw here and this screw here, which pulled the panel away from the dash. And I just ran the wire right on through. And this will be my point 
where it comes out okay now as you can see it does pull it away from the dash a little bit the this frame so maybe if you have a dremel what you could do is you could dremel back some of this dash right here okay i don't have that option i mean i guess i could because this isn't my truck this is a company truck so i mean i guess i could ask my boss and ask him if i could dremel back some of the dash but that's pretty much how i have it set up and then the cable's up there by hulk and that's where the eld is going to go plugged in right up there it'll be up there on the dash but uh that's pretty much clean as far as that way you don't have cables zip tied along this bar and stuff like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to finish i'm going to put this panel back on here that i have my phone mount to put that panel back here put the framing back on and let's see how it all works My battery's dying so I don't have my flash on my phone no more to give us some light, but that's screwed on now. So now let's go ahead and put this molding back on. Okay, so we had a slight change of plan. Because of the way the the molding fits over this, I couldn't have the cable come out here unless I was going to Dremel this down. Like I said, this is a company truck. I don't have that option unless I ask my boss, but, you know, I'm not going to ask him to cut into the truck because, you know, he needs to sell these trucks later. But so what I did was, is up here there was a spare switch. I just popped that spare switch out and ran the cable out this hole here. Now once we get this all put back together and the molding back on, you're still going to have a big old hole here, but you can cover that up with electrical tape. And then just store the spare switch in the glove box. That way, when the boss does go to sell the truck, you know, you can just pop that back in. But there you go. Nice and clean. Okay, and there you have it. Molding's back on. All the screws are back in place. So like I said, you do have a... There is a hole right there where the wire's coming out of. But, uh... Like I said, just get some black electrical tape or something that'll cover that up. Or just leave it out. It doesn't matter. But there's your cable right there. And then you just plug your uh, plug your ELD into that. Put it up on the dash. And you're good to go. Alright, so there you have it. That is my installation of the keep trucking ELD now instead of having your computer port taken up on the outside it's all wired up your computer ports still accessible for the shop technicians all the wirings behind the dash comes out right there and then you have your end cable right there that your box plugs into and uh, there you have it